uh, all the nice stuff that people are friends with the door knock. <laughs> she said that, Greg. Uh -huh. Greg, there are no dynamics. I try not to run when other people are running, but I have my set time schedule. And if they want to run at the same time as me, then they can just do with less buyers. So, the way I feel about it, this is a business. And Greg, you know during the, uh, the Christmas in July auction, you'll be able to hop into the back room over here and uh, do some selling during that event on the July 24th and July 25th. Let's get our times up. Awesome, Greg. We appreciate that. We appreciate everybody. Yep. As always, guys. I mean, there's, there's tons of great stuff out there. There's tons of people. There's going to be more and more people. Starting auctions, same with, you know, what happened with Facebook. You know, there was 40, 50, 60 auctions running at the same time over there. Some people stay, some people go. You know, it's a lot of work. So, you know, it's it's a lot harder than people think. But we're going to be here. We ain't going nowhere. And I've bought from all the different auction places. So we have nothing bad to say about anybody so far. About an hour. Yeah, it's like it's down around one. It's down above Philly. It's down near the casino. Me and Big Bird, we hang out sometime. We like this. Okay. Yeah, I've bought from pretty much everybody. I've bought from JJ. I've bought from Donna and T. And I've bought from Pirate a bunch. And I've bought from Locker Nuts. And I've bought from uh, um, the bird people. Uh, flamingos. <laughs> I think his kids are a little big for Sesame Place. Don't be Sally. No, and they're far away right now. Okay. So we're going to let some people hop into the room. We're going to say hello. Pam's going to say hi to everybody. Hey, girl. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> I think I, that was for Janine. <laughs> I, 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 I did that for I did that for Pam. Hi, Mike Petraglia. Oh, uh, no, I'm bringing my kids. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope so. Hey, Turtle. I hope you're hey, not Mary going me. there by yourself. <laughs> hey, Greg. Hey, Janine. Hey, girl. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're here to have some fun today, guys. Uh, ready for a nap. <laughs> Pam's going to take a nap. And, if, and you guys are going to get to tell me what you want me to draw on her face. <laughs> We got permanent marker here. Uh, here. I guess I should start. We got twenty people. We got twenty people. <laughs> Lenny said he's weird, but not that weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good to know, Lenny. Good to know. As long as you're not on Megan's list, <laughs> it's kind of like Angie's list, but without the sheet rockers and and plumbers. Hey, Greens loves the hey girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first lot we got twenty people. That's enough to see the started. People who are early get better bit better buys. Keepsake ornament, ice block buddies, miniature little polar bear sitting on a 2002 block of ice. Ten dollar start. <laughs> All right, Greg, I will. I'll pay attention. Very short nap. Keepsake ornament, magic light, dated 1990. So you can put a light bulb up inside of it, and that lights up. You have basket bell players. So if you like kitties hey, in a basket, house. there. Hey, brick house. Ow, mighty mighty, <laughs> letting it all hang out. Okay, sorry. 
teacher's pet dated 2002. I did just have a hamburger with some bacon and some gravy on it. So I'm a little wiry. It's kind of like having a candy bar, but not. Dated 2002. Looks like a little porcupine. Janine, there's a box on its way to you. Janine, there's a box on its way to you, Pam said. Happy holidays. And it's an old timey truck with Santa Claus driving. Hey, big guy. That's pretty cool. That is also a Hallmark keepsake ornament. If you guys need me to open them up and take them out, show them to you, I can. So looking for a ten dollar start, you get three, four, five, six, seven ornaments for your bid. The ornament <laughs> hamburger gravy and bacon. This is a Mr. Monopoly figure. There. So much to do, Santa Claus, with his naughty or nice list. Wait, Greg Lusk, this better be the nice list. I see your name right there. Nope, my name's on here too. This is a naughty list. <laughs> so that's what you guys get in this lot. And who knows, if we get action, that lot might get bigger. Who knows? You never know with us. But 12 with Chris. Harry's here. Harry. Harry Hefner. <laughs> Everybody's Shackman lots are out. Yep. All Shackman lots that were bought during the wholesale deal have been packaged. And there's four of them in my car. The The people who bought uh, four, four pieces are in my car going to UPS this afternoon. So they will all be completely gone today. We have 14 with Retro Dottie. Hi, Mary. And Mary Me came in just a second late at 14. So we have Retro in at 14. Yep, Tommy, yours is on the way to your sister. Looking for 16. Yep, Tommy's is on its way, on his way, or on their way to your sister. And if they're not, it's Pam's fault. <laughs> I'm not worried. I hate tags. <laughs> Popping tags, huh? So we're at 14 with Retro Dottie looking for 16. We get a little bit more action. I got another whole box full of ornaments that I think I'm going to add to this one. So keep bidding. Keep bidding. Lots of cool shack and stuff. Brian seems to think we're running out. <laughs> I like high believable blessings. 16 with Mary and me. Okay, I like I like it. I was going to wait till 20 to do it, but I'm going to do it now. Because I like buys a lot lots. So these are like little miniature. They're actually really heavy. So they might be, I'm not sure what they're made out of. Like a cloisonne. Got a miniature balls here. This is probably a, a lunt ornament. It's real pretty. Shiny silver with a, a dangly gold Christmas tree inside. We have a brass ornament here. <laughs> Janine, did you just hear that? With Greg, There's a Pennsylvania. Twenty-five of Me. Metal one. Here's another Pennsylvania one. There's some in the box on the way to you, Jimmy. Genuine twenty-four karat gold finish brass. Ooh, doggy, oh, yeah, them are fancy. You have the little, the little push puppet deer ornament. Ooh. So what happens when you go drinking with Santa Claus? Ooh, eggnog. Holiday tradition. Midnight angel ornament included. Ooh, let's see if they're both in there. Let's see if it's just one. I think it's just going to be one. Sounds like just one. Oh, that's cute. Brass ornament. 
So no additional Midnight Angel ornament unless it's a loose one sitting in here. Greg, what did Greg buy? $30 for $400. Well, it depends on what the comics were. Good. $25 of Greg. This one is Luster Fame 1992. It's got a little mouse inside of a sardine can. Philadelphia Phillies Christmas ball. This is like a, a heavy composite of some sort. Angel with shiny flakes on it. Porcelain ornament set of two. They got little teddy bears. Those are older. So what? Hi, everybody. Christmas ornament, 1997. Here is a blown glass ornament. Here's a M and M ornament. It's made out of tin. Uh, Probably had M and M's inside of it whenever you originally bought it. Ooh. It's my new coat. It'll fit me just fine. It is. Bone glass. It's glass. So it's breakable. Yeah, I think you're lagging a little bit, Greg. Another set of, oh, these are Boyd's Holiday Bears porcelain ornaments. So they're Boyd's. Nifty. Oh, and so is that other one. It says Boyd's down here on the bottom. So Boyd's porcelain ornaments there. Yep. I don't know. Oh, look! If you want to, if you want to have the, if you want to hang the Pope from your tree, here's Pope John Paul II. Hey, Frank. Hey, Frank. To be frank. Here's like a little, yep, like a little chalkboard. I guess you can pull the front off. Oh, no. You can open up the back and put a different picture in there. So you can put a picture of your grandkids, your kids, your wife, your ex-wife, your husband, your ex-husband, or your pet monkey. Here's an owl and a pencil. Merry Christmas, teacher. Here is a pottery earthenware bell. Maryland. Like Santa Claus. 27 with Chris. Merry Christmas with little hats, pins. Those are cute. Ooh. Santa Claus on a ski do on a snowmobile. <laughs> okay. What? Toys. Okay. Number one teacher. Well, the other piece goes to that. And here is like a crystal. I don't know if it's. Crispy would like to know if he buys it, would you put a picture of you and me in it for him? <laughs> he doesn't even I, I know what to say to that. I can't <laughs> promise that they'll have clothes on. What? I meant the me part of that picture, not you. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that's worse. <laughs> no, no, I promise it's worse. You can probably do all those radios, honey. Okay. Okay, so you get all of this in the lot. You just have to poke the bear, don't you? <laughs> hey, you, you, yeah, you, bear poker. <laughs> so.
Sorry. Super Troopers reference. Just can't leave her alone. <laughs> Mary Me is out. Crispy in at 30. <laughs> Guys, I did go. Some people were asking. I don't know who it was. But asked us about sports cards. I said, can you find some sports cards? So when I was up at the warehouse yesterday, I just grabbed some boxes that had binders in them. And there are sports cards in those binders. So we're going to sell you those binders. There is stuff everywhere to sell you. Yep, there's stuff everywhere. Bring a truck. Bring a truck and a pocket full of money. Should be having an auction tomorrow with all the stuff everywhere. Can't have an auction tomorrow. I'll be at the casino. Better not be. You'll be bidding on some dolls for me. <laughs> Do I ever get marbles? Um, yes. Yes, we get marbles once in a while. I try to stick them in my ears to, so I can find my lost ones, but they don't fit. <laughs> we don't ever... I haven't had any, like, great, great marbles in a while. But, you know, like the acro agates and the machine made, like the Peltiers and that type of stuff, I get that stuff. But not so many of like sulfides and onion skin type stuff or the the real fancy schmancy ones. Okay, so we're at 30 with Crispy. One tray lot towards filling his van. Don't forget that picture. <laughs> I'll, I'll put a note on it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll draw him a picture. <laughs> we will stick people. I'll let Pam draw it for you. Oh, yeah, great. Collection of old world ornaments. I would be interested. Okay. I don't know what those are, but okay. Is that like glass ball ornaments? I got some of those. I don't know what old world ornaments are okay so we're sold to chris yurden for 30 dollars. congratulations you. chris okay i don't know what's in these here's a binder of baseball cards now i did look at this binder um i have no clue who this guy is nick swisher but it looks like an old bowman card but it's not it's new it's his tops heritage or bowman heritage or Whatever, some heritage. But I don't know who Nick Swisher is. So hopefully somebody out there who knows who Nick Swisher is. Because this entire binder is like Nick Swisher insert cards and chromium cards and shiny cards. And it's really weird. So some of them have like different colors. But it looks like the same card with different colors on the front or on the back. This one says, Derek Jeter says. <laughs> That's right. He's a Swisher. He's a Chicago White Sox, according to this. But see, all kinds of different. These are tops chrome. And they're all in excellent minty condition. She's not talking about Kugels. I don't think. Cracker Jack. Oh, okay. Well, I'll do a little bit of research so I can learn what they are first. So that if I find them, I'll... I'll let's see. It's the cards. Crowning moment. So this is a whole binder of Nick Swisher cards. Here, look at this. I'll show you guys. I think this is the one that has something weird. Yeah, somebody liked him because this whole binder is him. But I saw something weird. See, like this is strange to me, and I don't know why. So there's the back. They're all number 276, but one of them's got a black back with a picture down in this thing. And the other ones have like this reddish color back. But the front of the card's the exact same. See, I don't know a whole lot about the newer sports card stuff. All I know is some of them are really, really valuable, like $5.4 million for some card recently. But I don't think it was Nick Swisher because I've never heard of Nick Swisher. 
Oh, here he's playing for the Indians here. Here's Gypsy Queen. So you get this whole binder if we have any interest in Nick Swisher. But they are all mint. Here's a prism card. There's a lot of inserts. Here's one that has like a I would say that's a facsimile autograph. I don't think it's a real autograph. And the only way I know that there's a bunch of inserts is because the way they're numbered on the back isn't like a, a regular number. They're numbered like BC, you know, 13 or whatever. So there's probably 500 cards in there. Any interest? Any of his Yankee cards? I don't know. Let me just flip some more. There's athletics. What year did he play for the Yankees? Here's Cleveland Indians. Indians, Indians, Indians. Indians, 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 Indians. Athletics. Apparently played for the Indians in the athletics. <laughs> yeah, but there aren't going to be any more Cleveland Indians, right? Aren't they going to change the name of that team? Big guy. Oakland Athletics. Ooh, look. Here's two cards where they're see-through. Look, you can see through the card. Acetate. Acetate cards. And a lot of them are really shiny. See? Shiny. Uh oh. Good job, Greg. I just grabbed boxes. Or binders. I did. Chicago White Sox. So, see lots of White Sox, lots of athletics, and lots of Cleveland Indians. So, like I said, it's probably about 500 cards would be my guess. There's nine cards per page. And if you look, these are, and then this is a different variation of that card. So, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, forty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. 34, 35, 36, 37. So there's like 38 or 39 pages inside. So nine cards times that is 300 cards. 26, Something like that. 300, 350 cards. Not quite 500, but a bunch. And definitely some, uh, they're all in great shape. It looks like somebody just, these are star rookies. And this one's a, a different variation of this card because it's got a foily logo up there. <laughs> 28 with Anthony. So we're at 28 with Anthony Thomas, looking for 30. 30 with Big Sky. Here, I, since I got some sports people, I'll do something really cool that I bought individually. And you guys are going to look at it like, what is wrong with you? But I like weird Greg. stuff. Oh, Greg, you're going to miss this. Oh. I bought a bag of, of charcoal. Oh, my God. You're packing that. That's gross. Why is it gross? It's just charcoal briquettes. Oh, my goodness. They're going to like it. Mm -hmm. It's actually really rare. 
We're at 35 of Big Sky. Most people burn it. <laughs> yeah, I thought about opening it up and just taking the briquettes out of it and just selling the bag. Be a lot easier to ship. Mailing <laughs> some more big little books. Nice. Nice, Greg. 37 with Anthony, 40 with Big Sky. Look, I'm all for you selling everything you get from me because I have no emotional attachment to anything anymore. It's all for sale. What are we adding before I go? Are you adding something or is that a separate option? No, this is going to be separate. 50 It'll, with MC? It. I have a, a very early baseball, really obscure oddball piece that I bought that I was really excited about finding because I've never seen one. So we are at 55 with Anthony Thomas. Diane, did you get my email yesterday? Hmm? Just want to make sure Diane got the email. <laughs> sure, Greg. Okay. Just want to make sure you saw it so we can take care of that. I want to get everything shipped out uh, before the end of this week. We're at 60 with Big Sky. Okay, we'll do, Chris. Chris, I don't have to be here for you to come and buy stuff. The girls will be cheaper than I am. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when Brian goes down to South Carolina. Greg, I will show you what it is before you leave. It is a Dizzy Dean baseball bag of charcoal briquettes. Never seen it. It's a vintage bag of charcoal. With Dizzy Dean, the baseball player, on it. Well, Brian's gone. I mean, I could sell truckloads of stuff to people. I think that's a great idea. <laughs> so we're not going to hold you to that 150 bid, Greg. <laughs> Greg, you just took the words right out of my mouth. Dollar <laughs> fifty. <laughs> I told you it was obscure and rare. Chris, you just call me. I'll bring you to the warehouse. <laughs> I'll tell you what, guys. We're gonna be we're gonna be fun today. You guys tell your friends to come in here. We hit seventy five people. I'm gonna let Pam or Kim go to the back of the warehouse down the aisle, and they're gonna bring up an entire box of paper stuff. And whatever's in that box, you guys are gonna bid on. You're gonna bid on the entire box at one time. Big old mystery box. <laughs> oh, Mr. Hot Wheels. It is an entire binder of Nick Swisher cards and insert cards. Nick Swisher. So if you know who Nick Swisher is, this is a whole binder full of just his cards. Give me 30 minutes on that pillow. <laughs> We're lots of fun. <laughs> 65 with Anthony. What's that MC? You want me to sell a whole long box of comic books? <laughs> $300 starting bid. It's a dollar book across the board. I won't even look at the comics until I bring them up, put them up here. I'll, I'll try it. Big Sky is out. I'm goofy. I'll I'll do something weird. 
I'll do something crazy today. I mean, other than the bag of charcoal on our table. <laughs> yeah, you know those are all part of that set, that big play set. But... Uh, it's like a whole set set? Yeah. Uh, the green one is. I don't know about the tan one. That green one definitely goes with it, but the tan one might not. All right. Hey, Scotty. Yep, we're selling this lot. Yeah, she is today. I knew she was today last week. But now she's got to go buy, buy clippers. I have no clue, Marilyn. I have no clue what would be in the box of paper that, that they would bring up. It could be ads. It could be magazines. It could be miscellaneous labels. It could be, I don't know what's in them. It's from that big paper deal I bought. that's just kind of been sitting at the back. Yeah, somebody really liked this guy. Okay, let's sell it. Let's sell it. Let's sell it. It's 65 with Anthony. 65 with Anthony Thomas. Oh, yeah. No problem, Marilyn. Like I said, I don't know what's in that box. I do have a box of ephemera that's going to come up today. Um, I'm going to make it into tray lots. It's the last of the the stuff from that uh, that collection of like binders and stuff. I know binders. Oh, okay. Going once, going twice. Looks like Anthony Thomas is going to be the proud owner of 350-ish Nick Swisher Swiss, Swizzle cards, <laughs> Swizzler cards. Uh, sold, 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 sold. Congratulations, Anthony. Okay. This is what I said was really strange. I bought this because I like the weird stuff that nobody else has. This is a bag of charcoal briquettes. I will give you guys the option. You may have it with the briquettes in it or without the briquettes in it. It is a $15 starting bid. I paid way over that for it, but it's 10 pounds, so it's going to cost us $15 to ship. But if you look, it's got Dizzy Dean here. Picture him, baseball. Partners, you'll like it, Dizzy Dean. So I like the weird sports stuff, um, except for like the Ted Williams Sears stuff because there is a gazillion items of that. <laughs> so this is just an option for you guys. You guys are welcome to bid on it. Fifteen dollars start. If nobody wants it, I'll I'll happily pass it. And we'll put it online for some crazy number because nobody else has them. We only have one of those? Yeah. Okay. Just make sure. I've never seen another one. Just making sure. MC's a pass. Dizzy Dean. Not Dizzy Bean, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 15 seconds. There's no bids, we'll move it on. I thought it was neat. Old Diz charcoal briquettes. Pass, pass, pass. Okay. Something else. Something good. You want it there? Okay. Here you go. <laughs> These are Shackman. 
These are just a little longer than the 12 by 12 by 6 boxes, so we don't put these in the lots. From 2000, Shackman Angels. Gloria in Excelsius Deo. These are... Baseball cards, baseball charcoal. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Marilyn. So this angel is 13 and a quarter inches tall by seven and a half inches wide. You get one dozen, two dozen, three dozen, four dozen, five dozen. So you get 60 pieces in this lot. 60 of these Shackman Jumbo Angel decorations double-sided from the year 2000. And this might be all of these we have. This might be the end of these that we have. 25 with Maryland. 29 with Greens. Yeah, I don't know if we have any more of those up there. I don't remember seeing any more. We still got to get to the back of that cubby hole, but mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know what else is in there. So far. So we're at 29 with greens. There's 60 pieces in this lot. Five dozen. So far, that's the last of them here. What well, pants it? She put them up here. She was going to say, come on. Yeah. So 38 was Stitch It. Hi, Pam. Lots of Pams. 41 with greens. So 60 pieces. Giant lot of Shackman. Goes. That's it. It's getting sold right now. <laughs> it's too late. 45. Did you say that? 45 a stitch it? Okay. 45 a stitch it, yep. <laughs> 47 with Marilyn. That's a lot of eggs. Well, sometimes to hatch a chicken, you gotta crack a few eggs. 55 with stitch it. I tried to hatch a chicken once. My butt cheeks got tired, though. Oh, 51. Oh, it had to be 56. Sorry, 56. Yeah, 56 was Stitch It. Yeah. 60 would... Welcome to the auction, Magnolia Jade. If you would like to participate and bid, please send us a registration so that we can give you a wrench so that you are able to bid. That's going to be 61. So we have 61. 61 with Marilyn Blatt, looking for 66 or better. Green came in just a few seconds late. Yes, Crispy, your box went out today. Yep, Chris, they're shipped. Oh, you're running behind then. You're just a little behind Magnolia. <laughs> We're at 66 with Stitch It on the 60 pieces of Angel Decorations Die Cut Angels. A lot of cool stuff in there. Chris, worst case scenario, you can sell it back to Pam for a hundred bucks. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. Oh, they're fantastic for reselling, especially if you do Etsy and some of the other sites. I want to take them to hometown. Yeah. Well, whenever hometown comes around, you let me know, and we'll, we will arrange it. Whatever is left, you can take up there and sell out. That way we don't got to move it. Uh, okay, Magnolia Jade, I have you. So you are good to go. 
you are able to bid. Let me give you the wrench. There you go. Nope, nope, she got it. I got her registration. She just hasn't been in since since she sent it. So you are good to go. Yeah, they will do. Yeah, I would definitely say they're do good there. <laughs> hey, Pat D's. They're at home in my refrigerator, Pat. Pat D's. Notes. <laughs> Pat, we got sports cards today. I grabbed some from up at the other warehouse, just whatever binders was inside of a, a box. You just missed out on the Nick Swisher collection. <laughs> well, they're in my smoothie right now. <laughs> Nick, the Nick Swizzlers. <laughs> okay, where are we at? You get 60 of these. <laughs> Pet these no nuts. <laughs> Is that like a donut? <laughs> I like donuts. <laughs> I'm shaped kind of like a donut. I haven't had donuts in forever. I know Yum Yum's is closed. I don't even like their donuts. Yum Yum's has the best donuts. They had those fluffer nutters and then they had that giant one the size of my head. <laughs> that was a great buy. Great buy. That's what you guys are here for. Great buys. And you know what? We're going to give them to you. Less stuff for me to move. Okay, here. here. More Shackman. This is a different group. I don't know. Oh, these are... Roy. These are little candy boxes in the shape of like little teddy bears with gold linings. Or you, or you can make these into cookie cutters. There's only some... What? So you get two dozen, 24 of these little teddy bear ornament slash candy boxes. Yeah. Look, you could use them for cookie cutters. You just got to finish making the rest of the shape. No, Brian. No. No, Brian. <laughs> Brian, I'm looking for a real poster display. I see. Little posters on it. Okay, I'll let you know. He's talking about like one of the ones at like a Walmart, and that mm -hmm. has all the little square cubby holes underneath that you put the rolled posters in, mm -hmm. and then it has the other posters on a, mm -hmm. on a turn. Yep, Christmas candy. So, uh, fifteen dollars start. Fifteen dollars start for two dozen of the little cute teddy bear. Shackman, see, 1990 Shackman, so these are earlier. Brian doesn't make candy. <laughs> Brian would eat all your candy and you would still get an empty box. <laughs> yes, exactly. I figured it in. It's fine. I don't, yeah, I don't think we have any of those. I, we don't have any because I would have loved to have one for when I was doing shows. We have 25 with Marilyn, 44 with Greg. Welcome back, Greg Lusk. That was a quick trip to the post office. I can reach out to your BFF and see if he has one. <laughs> Keith? No. The other guy. Yeah, yeah that Keith. Keith yeah. yeah. Different Keith, but yes. Did I win the charcoal for dollar fifty? Yes, you did, Greg. <laughs> Greg, it may come already pre-soaked <laughs> and lit. We're at forty-nine with Marilyn Blatt. We're gonna save it for when you come here to pick it up. <laughs> yep, in case it's snowing by that time, it'll be good traction for your car. <laughs> I'm all, look. I'm gonna put it on eBay for like. $175 and you watch it sell because there'll be people out there who don't have it 
They like the obscure stuff. I make candy, but I don't really like bear boxes. <laughs> We're at 49 with Marilyn. You know what's really awesome about these boxes? This isn't real fur, so they're really bear naked. <laughs> but I'm bum -ba -cha. Boy. So we're at 55 with Greg. Keep that grin on. Now you can grin and bear it. <laughs> Get a million of these. I can bear it no more. <laughs> Marilyn, the question is, can you bear to live without these? We're at 55 <laughs> with Greg Lusk. Naked Looking for 60. Everything to <laughs> so we're looking at looking for 60. <laughs> Look, here. Good, There's barely anything in these. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Okay. Can we sell it? Yep, we can sell it. Let's sell it. Marilyn Blatt would like one filled with thousand dollar bills for Christmas. <laughs> oh, she didn't say what filled with what, but <laughs> go once. Troy. <laughs> Troy's in rare form today. Wait, Pat D's, are you here? Pat D's is here somewhere. Pat D's. Greg lost for fifty-five dollars. Greg, these are great if you make none for You can put them in there. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. So you get a Sylvester cup. You can probably put a beer can in here. Have a Sylvester cozy. <laughs> You have an old Stein, but this is for Excalibur Hotel Casino. This is a casino Stein. <laughs> Excalibur Hotel Casino. So it's casino related. It's got a wizard, a dragon. That's awesome. From 1939 comes this awesome perfume bottle called yesteryear perfume but if you do any research this is considered as the gone with the wind perfume it is they used the scarlet o'hara or yeah the scarlet o'hara um style to make the bottle and you never see them with the actual little cloth flowers and her belt this one still has the original glass dome on it and here is the perfume bottle has the lid right there. So if you do your research, this is by Babs Creations. Really, really cool. And then, look, I did the research for you. I'm going to pull the sticker off of it now. This is a six-pack carrier picnic bag by Pepsi. Old stock with the tags. So like a lunch bag That's what I would call it See This is all the original inside paperworks And everything like that So really early soda advertising Not super early I mean it's probably 60s 17 with Maryland. So you get that Has it's hang tag 
the Gone with the Wind perfume. So if you're doing your research, search Gone with the Wind yesteryear perfume. The Excalibur Beer Stein is awesome. And Suffer and Thuckatash. 40 with Scotty. 43 with Greens. 50 with Scotty. Fifty five with greens. Are you doing this because of this? Mm-hmm. Sixty with Scotty. Nope. <laughs> Sixty with Scotty. Yeah, the cooler is awesome with the hang tag. Sold, sold, sold to Scotty for $60. Awesome buy, Scotty. Like I said, I was going to put 175 on that for the Pepsi cooler. How about a concert poster? Well, Kim pulled a bunch of them up here, and they're still sitting up here. They're on my table. Okay. We have the Yeah, Yeah, Yeahs with the Black Cat. This is number 86 of 100, and it is signed by Print Mafia. I'll move the rest of the posters out. Pam doesn't want me selling more posters today. Okay. Sports cards. Some weird bowl and those bowls are really good. Something. They're Linux. Oh no, I have to take that home. Never mind. Don't sell that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Actually, it's a really rare pattern. Okay, so yeah, yeah, supposed to ten dollar start. <laughs> 20 with Mountain Man 20 with Mountain Man Treasures Let's go through and pull all the small ones for the next one and then we'll use those and whatever else Uh, Robert, I had just pulled a box up here, so next lot we'll have comic books. I don't know what comic books because I didn't look through the box. 22 with Dottie. But it's going to be, it looks like there's vintage stuff mixed in with newer stuff, mixed in with bronze. So we have 25 with Mountain Man. <laughs> Marilyn. <laughs> 27 with Marilyn, 29 with Scotty. Yeah, we sold a, a Star Wars 1 the other day, a graded 9.2. We sold 
a tray lot that had like 25 or 30 Star Wars, vintage Star Wars comics in it. It came out of these same boxes. So we're at 29 with Scotty. Looking for 31 or better. Thirty one with Marilyn. <laughs> Sorry, Troy. I don't know what we're doing on each day. The Star Wars just it was in a box. I literally grab a long box or a short box from back there whenever I'm doing the comic lots and I bring it up here, sit it on the table, like I did right here. Definitely Marilyn. And then we sell whatever's in that box. I count fifty out and that's a tray lot. I count fifty out and it's the next tray lot. So whatever it is, is what sells. Yeah, Star Wars does really great. And then they're going to come out with the Rogue Squadron uh, TV series on Disney soon. I don't know how soon, but it's definitely that's the next Star Wars TV series. What's wrong? So we're at 37 with Scotty. Oh, that's great, Robert. That's what we like to hear. We want everybody to make money. We're at 45 with Scotty. We're at 45 with Scotty, looking for 47. And they only made 100 of this poster. The band in the venue got 25 of them, so there's only 75 that ever made it out into the public. Forty seven with Marilyn. Looking for forty nine or better. But remember if you bid forty nine, the next bid can be fifty one. Yes, signed by Print Mafia. This is a Print Mafia poster. So 2006 Print Mafia, and this is how they sign it. All of Print Mafia's is just PM, and it is numbered down here, 86 of 100. 49 with Scotty. So we need 51 would be the next bid, and then it jumps to $5 increments. 55 with Marilyn. There you go, 55 with Marilyn. Sixty with Scotty. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's very clean. Sixty five with Marilyn. Uh, depends on the type of poster, Robert. Uh, early Fillmore posters are reproduced quite often, and they're fake. Usually you have to measure them. Um, it's pretty much exact measurements, and then print lines and stuff like that. There's color variants. There is a ton, a ton of fakes out there. This stuff you run across because this is, you know, this is 2006, so I don't consider this vintage, but like the 60 stuff, 
there is a bunch out there that's that's not legit. So we're at 65 with Maryland. Oh, yeah. It's, there's a lot to know. Uh, you can always go to Wolfgang's Vault. It is a website, and they have a bunch of early Fillmore 60s posters, and they give you, like, the size measurements, which printing it is, because there's usually three printings. So you can learn a lot from, from that site. Sold, sold, sold to Maryland for 65. Congratulations, Maryland. Thank you for validating me listing a poster. <laughs> Shut up, Brian. <laughs> okay. But literally, guys, this is I, I went to the back. This is what I grabbed. A long box. And I do this. And then I slide this out of the way. And I grab a tray and I go from the front to the back. And we sell 50 books. Whatever's in that 50 books is what you get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, Typhoid Mary. Ten, eleven. Oh, look at this, guys. I think these are actually good. Amazing Spider-Man number 375. It's the foil cover, Spider-Man Spider versus Venom. Look. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those. Nine. I don't remember how many you had here. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so we're at 20 books total so far. Okay, we're not going to count this one. It's a Howard the Duck. Howard the Duck. Not going to count it. Hit refresh. There are nine of Spider-Man 375. Here is Jimmy Olsen, number 105, 12 cent cover. Tales to Astonish, number, I don't know. That's just a cover list of Tales to Astonish. So I'm not even going to count that. So there's 21 pieces, 22, 23. Hellstrom, 24, 25, 26. Spider-Man Classics, 1, 27. Archie and Armstrong, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, Dark Horse Comics, 33, Wolverine and the Punisher, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 38 books. Ian Fleming's James Bond, Dark Horse Comics. That's it, Will 39, 40, 41. Look, here's the 10th one of 375. It's 42. I'll ask him, Scott. Give me a minute. 199, 43, 44. Superman 12 cent cover, number 171. 45. G.I. Joe Special Missions, 46. Damage control one, 47. Don't know, so we're not going to count it. Here's Magnus Robot Fighter, 48. Number 49, Eternal Warrior, number nine. And Solar, Man of Mystery, number 20. There's your 50 books. Magician poster info. I got one I cannot find. No, there's like song for 400. Um, Scotty, yeah, check out check out Wolfgang's Vault. 
or espresso beans are both sites for that type of stuff. We are at 109 with Mr. Hot Wheels, looking for 119. 119 with Mountain Man Treasures. This is an awesome book. <laughs> Spider-Man number 375 with Spider-Man and Venom on the cover. That's an awesome cover, and it's got holograms. It's shiny. So we have 119 with... Um, 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 Troy, Mount Men Treasures. And you get 10 of those books. And they have never been read, so if that helps you guys on condition. There's 10 of them in this lot. I didn't know. I just know it's a good book. And they are newsstand, so they got the barcodes. Wait until the next Spider Man movie comes out. They'll be really awesome. Spidey is your friend. Nice. We're at 166 with Greg Lusk, 171 with Marilyn Blatt, 185 with, yeah, 171 with Marilyn Blatt. Looking for 181, Mr. Hot Wheels. $10 increments over 100, guys. Pam just said I'm crazy because there's 10 of these. And they should be graded. But they were in the box. I don't look at the boxes. You guys get whatever's in there. Ten of them. We're at 195 with Robert. We need 205 would be our next bid. 210 with Greg. And look again. Look again at what? Yep, they should be graded. We're 220 with Mr. Hot Wheels. Yeah, I can't tell you guys what they sell for. We're at 250 with Scotty. Yep, we are Scotty. Just goes to show you, you never know what I'm going to put, what's in these boxes. Some of these boxes have been stored away for, you know, 15, 20 years. 230 with Robert, 275 with Greg. We had 250 with Scotty already. So Sorry. we're 275 with Greg, Sorry. 300 with Scotty. Fan, no comps in the chat. 300 with Scotty. 310 with Mr. Hot Wheels. They're definitely a great play. <laughs> 320 with Scotty. Yeah, we still don't throw numbers in the chat. We have 320 with Scotty. Yeah, it's long term. I mean, they definitely need to, you know, it's that type of stuff. I would send these off to grade them and wait however long it is now, six months, to get the stuff back. 350 with Mr. Hot Wheels. And pray they make another Spider Man movie by then. Well, they're, wait, when's Carnage coming out? Carnage is coming out soon, right? Somebody out there knows when it's coming out. We're at 350 with Mr. Hot Wheels.
<laughs> Greg's out. Comps in chat. Yeah, there's there was no real comps, Greg. This year. Yeah, I would pay ten bucks a book for these and buy a thousand of them at a shot. I don't know the new movie is Carnage, right? It's like Venom versus Carnage. I think that's what they're doing. That's why the Carnage books are so hot right now. Going once. Going twice, September 24th, Venom, Let There Be Carnage. 375 with MC. To be honest, guys, I like this one because it's shiny. <laughs> that intrigues me more than the fact it's Carnage. I got you, Scotty. But 10 copies of that book and then all the other stuff. You got it, Scotty. I probably will bag and board those 10 for whoever wins this, just so that you guys know. Because I just got 2,000 bags and boards the other day. See vintage memories. So we're at 375 with MC, looking for 385 or better. You got it, MC. I'll bag and board those for you. Oh, yeah, Robert. <laughs> if you go with silver bags and boards, modern will fit in them. They're just not completely tight. 385 with Mr. Hot Wheels. But if you go with Golden Age, Golden Age books are always a little bit bigger. We're at 385 with Mr. Hot Wheels. Yep, 385 with Mr. Hot Wheels. Probably a good thing I didn't put the whole box up for 300 bucks, huh? Probably did. 399 with MC. Oh, awesome, Scotty. I figured that those those spoons were silver. I didn't know about the baby cup. And obviously I didn't know there was gold jewelry. But that's great. Like, I hope you make a lot of money. So we're at three ninety nine with MC, looking for four oh nine or better. Yeah, they don't fit in silver. Golden Age books are always bigger. So we're at 399 with MC looking for 409 or better. It's just between MC and Mr. Hot Wheels if nobody else is coming in. So we will call it whenever one of them says out. Okay. So it is 399 to MC. Yeah, Golden Age books are always the biggest. Yep. I just don't have the patience to wait. 
It drives me crazy. Oh, yeah, here, pay for this extra service, and we'll get it done for you faster. Harbanger number 16. Put a, a post-it note on that just says to bag and board those for me. Yeah. Okay. Animal Man, that's the second book. Detective Comics Batman, that's the third book. Fourth book, X-Men 299. That's five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, Sandman, 15, 16, Outsiders number one, 17, Guy Gardner, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. <coughs> Sorry, everybody. 25. Look, Jason Goes to Hell, the final Friday. Tops Comics. It's still in the baggie. It's got cards with it. That's number 25. And then it's going to jump into, like, older stuff. It's really funny. Like how these boxes are just, like, mix-mashed. Number 26, number 27, number 28, an early Dell 4 color, number 29. Actually, I'm not going to count that one. So there's 29, there's 30, 31, thank you, 32, Lost in Space, 33, Goofy, 34. Not going to count that one, there's no cover. Yeah, I'm just going to give you that one free, too. 35, Bugs Bunny. This one has no cover, either. 36, an old Walt Disney one, 10 cent cover. 37, 38, Walt Disney 10 cent cover. 39, eh, this one's pretty rough, not going to count it. 40, I'll give you 10 more, just to make it. Forty-one shades of gray comics and stories. Forty-two, forty-three, forty-four. The Secret Defenders. Forty-five, forty-six. Mister Miracle. Thor. Forty-seven. It's the back of some book. Monster in my pocket. Forty-eight. Sergeant Rock. Two sixty-nine. Forty-nine. Dead face. Fifty. And I'll throw in. Two extras just to make sure. 40 with Brad. So I have 40 with Greg looking for 42 or better. Or 45 with Lone Star. So there are vintage books in here. 10 cent stuff, 12 cent stuff. And then newer books. Various condition on this lot. We're at 47 with greens. I like the Jason one with the, with the cards in it. So we're at 47 with greens, looking for 49 or better. Hey, Mark. Good night, Louie. So we're at 47 with greens, looking for 49 or better. A slot of 50 plus comics. Yeah, I think it's neat. I 
three cards. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, Keith. Congratulations, Keith, on the new baby. I sent you a text the other day. Walt Disney Comics, Tencent. Walt Disney, Donald Duck, but it's rough. Disney Comics and Stories, another Tencent Disney Comics and Stories. Tencent, Sir Lancelot. Mickey Mouse, Old Sea Dog. Didn't count that one because there was no cover. Bugs Bunny, Ten Cents, Spin and Marty is rough. That might be what that back's from. And then there is a little hot stuff. They can count those. Walt Disney Showcase, Lost in Space, and then you get you have a bunch of newer stuff. Another Ten Cent Uncle Scrooge, Porky Pig, Davy Crockett at the Alamo, Walt Disney Comics and Stories. Betty and Veronica. I'm taking off taking you off my speed dialing. Jonah Hex. Dead Face. Sergeant Rock. Monster in my pocket. That's what I tell her. Versus the evil evil of Loki. Mr. Miracle, the Secret Defenders, Shades of Grey. Shades of Grey. I don't know if that's – is it supposed to be signed like that, or are these signed? Does anybody know? These might be signed. I can't really tell. Oh, I think they're signed. I think all three of these are signed, just because the way that it fades here, and it's not fading there. So those might be signed. That one, that one. Jason goes to hell with some cards. Cards in the back. Condor versus the Ray. Darkhawk. 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 Timberwolf. Guy Gardeners. Outsiders number one. Outsiders. Sandman. Action Comics. Action Comics. Action Comics. Action Comics, New Blood, Elf Quest, X Men number 299, 299, 299, 299, 299, 299, 299, Batman 657, 657, Animal Man, and Harbinger, Harbinger, Harbinger. Yeah, there's these three. I didn't even notice it the first flip through. Okay. Yeah. I thought it might be part of it, but they're not because they're different, like the signatures. Oh, that would be awesome. Let's see that. So we're at 60 with Rebecca. Ooh, 9.6, like CGC bookies. Sold, sold, sold to Rebecca for $60. Congratulations, Rebecca. $60. Okay, you guys want another sports card lot so I can get through. All the stuff here on the table. He said, I don't know what's in these. Oh, okay. So this one, I think this is exactly what it says. FLIR Ultra 1991 complete set with complete Ultra Team subset. I have no clue why this guy put the cards in the books the way he did. This is number one through nine. So you just see the back of the card until you flip it over, and then you can see the fronts of the card. So it is a complete set. 
I did flip through this one because it said it was a set and I wanted to check. So it is a complete set. There's Roger Clemens, Jim Abbott, uh, Wally Joyner, Mark Grace, Carlton Fisk, Greg Maddox, uh, trying to see. Frank Thomas is in here in 1991. Robin Batura. Sammy Sosa, that's his rookie year, I think. That's his rookie. No, no graded comics today. Chris Sabo. I don't know who else I'd be looking for in 1991 other than the Sosa. And the Mark McGuire was in there. Bo Jackson. Bo don't know Diddley. Daryl Strawberry. So it is a complete set. Gary Sheffield. Plus whatever the sticker thingies are, the little hologram stickers in the back. Kirby Puckett. So if there's any specific player you guys want to know if it's in here, just let me know the number and I can find it because they're in numerical order. Greg Jeffries, Dwight Gooden. Starting bid, $15. Looking for a $15. Kevin Moss, Don Mattingly. Mark McGuire is right there. Ricky Henderson, Jose Canseco, Dennis Eckersley. Look, these are the guys I remember from whenever I actually liked sports cards. Lenny Dykstra. 1991. Barry Bonds, Bobby Bonilla. I don't think so. I'd, are they numbered differently? Gary Templeton. So it goes from number one. There's Will Clark. There's Ken Griffey Jr., Ken Griffey Sr., Randy Johnson. Ruben Sierra, Robert De Alomar, Nolan Ryan, John Olerud. Unless these are the update set. Prospects. Clear Ultra. Fleer Ultra, 1991 Fleer Ultra. So here's number 373, 374, 375. Those are the prospects, so the rookies, I guess. Mo Vaughn, Chuck Knobloch. And then here's other ones. Great performances, number 392. So it goes up through 400. So it's one through 400, and then these holograms here. These are the hologram subset. So this is all the... All the different holograms. Hey, cat. Hey, cat. Then MC no. So it is a complete set of FLIR Ultra 1991 and the holograms, but not an update set. Just one through 400. Okay. We're at 30 with Rebecca. Okay, so we have 30 with Rebecca on this set. These supplies have become really expensive lately, too. Supplies have gotten out of hand. I just threw away a whole bunch of empty sheets. I probably shouldn't have thrown them away. I think I threw away about 70 empty 
baseball card sheets. No. <laughs> nope. If they're not already in the books, they ain't going in the books. He said, "Out of hand." I don't know what number is it. Here's Dave Justice. Cal Ripken. I don't think this is Chipper Jones right here. Sammy Sosa is in here. I don't think Chipper Jones is till like 93, right? I don't know. Mark Grace. Well, if I find more, I'll send them with your next order, Rebecca. So we have $30 for the Rebecca, looking for 32 or better on this lot of sports cards. Those are rookie year is 90. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's in here. I saw him. Oh, okay. So then, yes, he would be in here if he is number one through 400. Uh, every card is here from one through 400 for a Flare Ultra. Sold, sold, sold to Rebecca for $30. Congratulations, Rebecca. How about we do these? A little obscure for what we're doing. These are all old stock. They have the little tag. I don't know what the tag says. 100% cotton made in Japan. The little embroidered flowers, so like uh, hankies. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. See, look, I'm ordered with the tags. Eleven, twelve, ten dollar start. Thirteen, fourteen. Got a little lacy trim around the outside. 15, you can see they're folded, 16, 17, 18, this one's got this on the edge, old stock, 19, 20, 21, really pretty rose, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Wow, there's a lot in here. 33. 34, these come from that house. Yep. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, and these even have like a Little pattern around the edge. 43. 44. 45. That one has a couple of stains on it. 46. 46 old stock handkerchiefs. 
46. 35, the cat. It's a nice big lot. Forty with turtle. So we're at 55 with Cat. Hey, Kate. Marilyn, uh, who won the Spider Man comic lot? MC. MC won it. Oh, no, Rebecca. Well, hopefully, we can keep your eyes open. Some awesome deals. There's 55 with Cat. I don't remember how many anger chips I said there was. Like 45 of them, I think. 45 old stock Yankees. Going twice. KJ says, Pam, good day. Hey, KJ. Sold, sold, sold to Cat D for 55. 55. 55. 55 to Cat D. See you, Phil. 55 to Cat D. Okay, guys, how about I do these because they're on the table and they're breakable. Okay, I'll show you what they are. So these are salt and pepper shakers. These are the salts, I believe, and these are the peppers. Uh-oh, I'm froze. I believe the pattern is Lido, L-I-D-O. They are by Linux. You can see right here, marked Linux. Mayfair, Linux, Mayfair, and then I think the name of the pattern is called Lido. So pepper grinders and then two salts, obviously, needs to be cleaned. I I didn't clean them. Let's see. Linux. So two of those. And then here is an awesome giant bowl. Hand decorated. Linux. Oh, yep. It is Lido. Serving salad bowl, large salt and pepper shaker sets. So that's what you get in this lot. And they're all Linux. Really beautiful. It's like actually embossed. You can feel the, the paint work on it. They're hand decorated. Uh, it's 20 bucks at least because it's going to be at least that to ship it. 20 with Rebecca. A giant. Like I would use this for a popcorn bowl or maybe a cereal bowl. But maybe not a cereal bowl. It's a little big for a cereal bowl. Let's see if we can get it to hold the bowl up. Ha. <laughs> How many salt and pepper shakers does it take to hold a bowl up? That's a lot of cereal. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no pattern name on the bottom, but I will tell you the pattern is Lido, L-I-D-O. So 
So it is <laughs> Linux Lido <laughs> pattern. Cereal bowl. <laughs> oh, big cereal bowl. Uh-huh. Put the whole box of cereal in there and pour some milk in it. And then sit down on Saturday morning cartoons. So we're at 20 with Rebecca. Nope, you get two pair, two sets of salt and pepper shakers and a giant bowl. It's everything of that pattern that I had. And if you notice, like on the columns, there's little faces. It's really awesome. So 22 with Christine O'Brien, 24 with Scotty. Rebecca's in at 30. It's actually pretty good. Is there pepper in the pepper grinders? Um, yes. Yes. Doesn't have to be there. I can empty it out, but yes, there's pepper in the pepper grinders. In that one, there is. 34 with Nancy. Not in this one. Pepper in that one, but not pepper in this one. And the gold plating's off the top of these two. Kind of weird. Let's see that. That was just never. Should we empty the pepper out? I don't know why Tilly says something. Okay. In case he wants, wants that, some free pepper. See, there you go, Scotty. Okay. 36 with Christine. Nope. 44 with Rebecca. Ooh, these are neat. These are early too. Let's see how old year is this? Nineteen oh one. Pretty. Thanks, Scotty. 50 with Rebecca. So we're at 50 with Rebecca. Looking for 55 or better. would be our next bid. Christine is out. Thank you for your bids, Christine. And we have 64 people here. Thank you, everybody who is here watching. If you are currently lurking and you don't have a wrench, make sure you send us over your registration and just say registration sent so we can give you a wrench so that in case you do see that one item that you want, you're able to bid. Okay, hey, count it down. And Rebecca, if you if you're the winner and you want me to candlesticks to that set too, cool. If you want me to dump out the peppercorns out of the pepper grinder, I can. Last call. <laughs> Brian, what 
are you doing? <laughs> Nancy Gazelle, thank you for your bits. Just seeing if I put it out there for you, if you'll grab it. <laughs> Oh, awesome. Yeah, my mommy likes linens, but she only likes the stuff that's like pre-1900. What? Sold, sold, sold to Rebecca for $50. Dumped out the stuff. And... Does she want it dumped out? Yeah. Okay. Okay, these are really cool. I don't really know what they are, but they're neat. It's open on top. There. You just dump it. Okay, so this is some kind of a magazine. I'm guessing this was a bound set of the magazine because the binding is off. But I think it is German, maybe? Um, so like here's number one, so NR1, October of 1900, right here, October 1900, bis dahin, 1901, Dahim magazine, and there's obviously like political people or fancy peoples, there's all these old pictures, there's like an old hot air balloon, I've done really well with like some awesome weird magazines before, so here are some more awesome old magazines. Another hot air balloon, them transporting it. Dahim. So I guess it's German, because here's like a nice engraving. Copyright 1900 by Franz Hampfogskill Hamp in Munich. Munich. Hampfogskill. Hans, Hans Frankel Stoggle Stoggabin. More art. And, stuff. and then look at this engraving here. Really pretty. And then in the back, it's really neat because these look like medals that they made, like medallions for war, maybe German medals. Okay, so that's number one. Here is number two. Here's number two. See, like the German military guys. 1900, October 1900, 1901. Again, I think it's engravings it's in the center. It's really beautiful. There's number two. Number three. Look at that one. So these are engravings are from 1900. I would probably take the books apart and sell just the engravings online. Look at the creepy little baby. There's number three. Here's number four. I'm trying to see how many bound volumes or how many issues or whatever there are. So here's number five. So yeah, engravings. So there's at least two engravings, sometimes three in each one. There's number six. Number seven. Number eight. It looks like they're about 26 pages each. And it looks like it is the full grouping of them. Here's number nine. Look at the ship.
number 10. So it goes through, let's see, this is number 24. Look at this. This one is like a double pager. Engraving. Look at that. So it looks like there's 25 issues. Here's 10 through 24. Here's number 25. Here's number 25. And number 26 has this funky foil thing in the back. So there's 26 issues. And this one's 1901, August 30th through March of 19, or yeah, March 1930. Or 19, not 1930, 26 issues with engravings complete, 1 through 26. So we are at 33 with Turtle. I would guess it's German, Cat, because, yeah, they're, they're written in German. Rebecca's in at 40. I have some awesome ephemera for you guys soon. As soon as I'm done with, once I get this comic book stuff out of the way and and that, I'm going to bring over that box of ephemera and we're going to work into that so that it gets off the filing cabinet. So we're at 43 with Turtle. Say what? So there's a lot of garbage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've taken out the, the garbage can like three times today. Yeah. We're at 45 with Rebecca. Looking for 47 or better. We're at 50 with Turtle Trader. <coughs> I was sitting at the counter <laughs> drinking my coffee. So we're at 55 with Rebecca. <laughs> Dahim, D A H E I M magazines. They were in that paper stuff. Hi, hey, Iris. This one time I was in the desert 
on a horse with no name. <laughs> the real question is, how many people just started singing in the desert on a horse with no name? Fifty-five with Rebecca. Sold, sold, sold. Thank you, Rebecca. Okay. Fifty-five with Rebecca. Okay, let's do another comic lot. Because as soon as I get through the comics, I can bring over the box of ephemera. 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 All right. Starting out right here. Just grab the stack. Flintstones. It's one. Two. Oh, these are cool. Adventure with the Brothers. Never seen this before. Three. Four. Not going to count that one because it doesn't have a cover. Five. Six. The Phantom. Seven. Eight. That one's got a rip in the top, though. Don't know what that's from, but you get that with it. Number nine, ten cent comic, Golden Age. Number ten, ooh, that's a cool cover. Number eleven, got blinded myself with this one. Number twelve. Number thirteen. Thanks, Daddy. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Captain America. 18 10 cent cover Lady and the Tramp number 19 Davy Crockett number 20 Don't Give Up the Ship number 21 with Jerry Lewis number 22 15 cent Walt Disney 23 24 25 26 10 cent cover 27 Grab the next stack out of the book, out of the box. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine, the nth man, number one. Thirty, DP seven. Thirty-five, the cat. Thirty-one, Micronauts. That's cool. Thirty-two. Ooh, Batman number five hundred. Shiny. Forty-five, a crispy. That one's neat. It's even got like a Batman card inside. What did I say that was? 39? 40? Spider-Man number 39. 41. 42, Robotech. 43, number 1, Plasma. 44, Web of Spider-Man. 45, Web of Spider-Man number 6. 46, Marvel 2 and 1, Thing in Spider-Man. 47, Flintstones. 48. 49, 50, I'm going to give you a couple extras just in case, so three, three Doctor Stranges and one of Black Condor, just in case my count was off. We're at 55 of green. Hey, Carl. We're at 60 with Cat. Sixty-five with Greens. Cat D is out. So we're at 65 with greens, looking for 70 or better. 70 with Frank. Oh, awesome, Marilyn. It's a good book if you send it in and get graded. You want 361, 362, and 363. Those are the first carnages. But that book had venom on the cover, and it seemed to do really well. 
So we're at 70 with Frank. So we're at 70 with Frank Perez, looking for 75. On this nice lot of, probably about 55 comics. I added some extras in there just to make sure. But lots of 10 and 12 cent Disney stuff. I'll say that I think my window's open. Watch. Greens is out. Thank you for your bid screens. Go ahead and count it down. We have 70 with Frank Perez. It's going to be a bargain. Sold, sold, sold to Frank Perez for $70. Sold, sold, sold to Frank Perez. Congratulations, Frank. Thank you. Okay, let's grab some more out of this box here. Keep working our way through. We can get to the ephemera. Ephemer. Beetlejuice. 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 Or just number two. There's two of those. Ooh, this is a good book. I believe this is a good book. Number one. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice lot of comic books. Eleven. 12, Fright Night, 13, Phoenix, 14, 15, 16, The New Warriors, 17, Namor, 18, The Eternals, number one, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, the Comet, 27, Mighty Mouse, 28, Star Trek, 29, Punisher, 30, 31, You're going to get 50 books. 32, 33, 34. These are all in great shape. 35, 36, 37, Ghost Rider and the Werewolf. 38, Terminator 2, 39, Green Arrow. 40, Swamp Thing, 41, 42, 43, Warlock. 44, demon number one, 45, 46, these are really thick, 47, 48, the sticker just fell out of them about the Vietnam, that's 48, Casper, 49, little dot, 50, Tom and Jerry, 51, Spider-Man number 9, 52, 53, an old Flintstones 12 cent, 54, 55, and a freebie. So there you guys go. But the Savage Dragon number 1 and the Eternals number 1 are both neat.
So I have Crispy in at 75. What? Oh, Diane. Huh? Oh. Yeah. Close up of the dragon. Here you go. Does not look to have ever been read. Very, very colorful. And here is the Eternals, number one. So we're at 75 with Crispy, looking for 80 or better. Pages are white, yes. Hello, Robin, because she shed. MC is out. We have 75 with Krispies. I haven't seen Robin in a long time. What? Because she should. Mm -hmm. See, she says hi to Janine, but doesn't say hi to Brian. I see how it is. There we go. That's better. <laughs> Going twice. <laughs> well, now I want to jump on the train. I want to send Rebecca an email. Just, I don't know, just to send her an email. <laughs> uh, I'll, I know. I'll send her an invoice later. It's like it's all the crispy for seventy five. It's like sending an email. Okay, let me do. Uh, I want to get the comics done, but let's just let's do this album of sports cards quick, so that we can keep kind of going through everything, so I can get over to the ephemera. So here's some. Um, I think these are 1981, maybe. <laughs> 1981 tops baseball cards. Oh, this is a different year. I don't know what year this is. Hang on. Let's see. Let's see if I can find the back of one of them. <laughs> nice. This is 1980. So 80 and 81. The front there, these are 84. These ones here. I'm just going to flip through it. It's a whole bunch of. And these are 1980. Yankees. Lots of Yankees. These are 1981 with the, the baseball cap thing, and these are 1984. So, so far we got 80, 81, 84. There's Tug McGraw. There's Larry Boa. So 
So lots and lots of older baseball cards. By the blue. I think he is. Jerry Kuzma, I don't know who he is. Back in at 50. And for everybody who is within driving distance, you guys are always welcome to make an appointment, come out, fill a truck, bring a bunch of money. We will sell you stuff. Because I'm moving down south, I want to move less stuff down south. So anybody close to the Allentown, Pennsylvania area, we are available to sell you stuff. If I'm not here, Pam will sell you stuff cheaper than I would. As long as she stays out of my office. <laughs> Willie Hernandez. Bake McBride. I know some of these names. Who? Uh, look for me. I'll drive to Florida for a deal if it's a big enough deal. Well, heck, I'll drive anywhere in the U.S. for a deal. But it's got to be worthwhile. Okay, so a whole album full of old. We're at 50 with Rebecca. So we're at 50 with Rebecca. Looking for 55 or better. Yep, 80, 81, and 84. I think there might be a few 82s in there as well. Van, I'll see you Saturday. Come down Saturday. <laughs> I'll be around, I think. So Rebecca in at 60. I saw Diane's bid at 55. Diane's in at 65. Do you guys want bigger lots? Or is one binder at a time okay? Nice. So we're at 65 with Diane, looking for 70 or better on this lot. 75 with Rebecca. <laughs> Big. Crispy said he loves big lots and he cannot lie. <laughs> Janine says one at a time. I think Janine's getting outvoted. Super big, MC says. <laughs> so we're at 75 with Rebecca. No. Okay. 
Diana's out. Thank you for your bids. Well, Janine, that's why we got to do a big lot. Get the bidding up. Let's go ahead and count it down. We're 75 with Rebecca. <laughs> No problem, Iris. I have I just have some more sports cards. I have like another six albums. So I thought maybe if I do two lots of three albums, it clears off the table faster. It's going twice. To me it's about clearing space before we have to move. And I want to be able to go over there and grab those that, that ephemera stuff for you guys. <laughs> Can't have an auction tomorrow. I'm at the casino tomorrow. No, you're not. <laughs> well, Rebecca should drive a big old truck over here. And let's see. She needs about a 24-foot box truck to take all the sports cards. I got a storage unit full and part of a warehouse full. Sold, sold, sold to Rebecca for 75. Congratulations, Rebecca. Heck, some of them I've had for 10 or 15 years of collections I bought. So I don't even know what's in them. Okay, 50 more comics. Uh, a couple more lots and this box will be empty. Coverless. You know the book. There's just like some loose stuff sitting in the bottom of this box. For sure. Okay, let's see what we got here. This is just the loose stuff that was in the bottom of that box. Union, not going to count it, not going to count it. So we will say that that everything I have in this tray so far is one piece just for that unit. Cool. Two, three, okay, four, zero a month, five. Ooh, Frank Miller, Sin City. That's cool. Six. Elvira's House Mystery, seven. That one's got schmutz on it, so we're not going to count that. We're going to say six. Now we'll say seven. Ultimate Origins, eight, nine, ten. Not going to count this one, even though it might be a good one. So there's ten. Yep. Ten. Eleven. 12, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, 13, Dragon Lance, 14, 15, 16, 17, lots of Dragon Lance, 18, The Lost Gods, 19, 20, 21, Green Lantern, 22, 23, Silver Sable, 1. Embossed and silver. 24, 25, 26. Episode guide number two of two, Star Trek. 27, 28, 29. Cadillacs and dinosaurs. 30, 31. Look, Alf. 32, 33. This one feels like there's something inside. This. 33. Thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. 35, 36, Spirits of Vengeance with the original bag and a poster, 37, Planet of the Apes, 38, Excalibur, 39, Excalibur, 40, Excalibur, 41, 42, Marvel Age, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, Silver Sables, 48, 49, a Superman, and number 50, Frank. 
number one. I'm good for it. Bye, guys. Oh, I'll see you, Rebecca. She didn't put the rest in the box for her. She's good for it. <laughs> okay, so we have 40 with crispies, 43 with greens. Fifty with crispy. Do a drink. Do want water? If you would, please. We have fifty with Chris. Looking for fifty-five. We're going to go big lots in just a second. I got one more comic lot, and then the rest of it's going to be big lots. Big, big lots. Big lots. Big, big lots. Big lots. Okay, just got the YouTube thing going on. Greens is out, so we're at 50, looking for 55 or better on this lot of comics. And this might be a page of one of those loose ones. Put it in there. Going once, going twice. We have Crispy in at 50. Okay, thank you. I believe we're going to be sold to Chris for $50. Bargain. Bargain. Crispy in at 50. Hey, Robin Watson. Good to see you again. Haven't seen you for a while. Okay, so here is the last lot of comics. I don't know exactly how many is going to be in this lot. Um, it's whatever's left in this box, so it just clears this box off the table. So whether it's 50 or more or 50 or less, I don't know. I would guess it's around 50. That over there. Okay, let's see what we got. One, two... Three, four, five, six, Barbie, seven, Guardians of the Galaxy, eight, Monster in My Pocket, Monster in My Pocket, nine, ten, these are issue number one of Monster in My Pocket, eleven, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, issue number one, twelve, thirteen, Excalibur, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, Captain Adam, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, Young Blood number one, 28, another Young Blood number one. 29, Moon Knight number 41, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and number 35. So that's what's in that side. So there's 35 there, 36, the Mighty Thor number 450, 37. Oh, uh, graphic novel, 38. Oh, look at this, Led Zeppelin, 39. Baseball Legends, Jackie Robinson, 40. Darkhawk, 41. Alpha Flight Special, 42. 43. 44. 
45. That might be good. 46. Episode guide number one, 47. More of the Silver Sable ones, 48. 49. 50. 51. 52. 53. 53 books in all in this lot. Pretty awesome. Jackie Robinson's cool, and the Led Zeppelin's really neat. 49 with NC, 51 with Van. Okay, so we have 51 with Van. Looking for 56 would be the next bid. $5 increments now. So we're at 66 with MC. Looking for 60, would be 71. 71 would be the next bid. Looking for 71. $5 increments. So 66 with MC, looking for 71. Seventy three. Okay, now we're looking for seventy eight. I have to do the math in my head. So now we're looking for seventy eight would be the next bid. Greg left us. I haven't seen Greg back in since he went to the post office. Or no, he did come back in for just a second. He did. 99 with MC. Looking for 104 would be the next bid. And then after that, it will be $10 increments. So we have 99 looking for one. Oh, we got 107. Yeah, the Jackie Robinson one. Very cool. Then the Led Zeppelin one's neat. The Thor 450s are cool. MC is out. Thank you for your bids. Thank you for your bids. Looking for 117 would be the next bid. We have Van in at 107. Sold, sold, sold for 107 to Van Owsley. Congratulations, Van. Okay, guys, big lots. Big lots. Crispy's Toys, big lots. Everybody else, big lots. Got to cut it. Cut it. Cut it out, as Joey would say. Got it. Okay. Big lots are done like this. Whatever fits in this tray is what you get. We are doing pin back buttons. I will tell you there's have a spooky Halloween sitting here on top. 101 Dalmatians, pin back buttons. So whatever fits. I'll take it over this way. Make a mess. So then there's a different 101 Dalmatians. Here's some mushrooms, 
So if you're doing shrooms for peace, here's a different 101 Dalmatians. So generally, these trays will hold around 300 to 400 pieces now. These ones don't have backer cards. There's a Bugs Bunny one. Bless you. 25 with turtle. So there you go. So you got 101 Dalmatians. You got a Halloween black cat. More 101 Dalmatians. Shrooms. So there you go. And they are licensed. Well, these are Disney licensed. The 101 Dalmatians. Thank you. 27 will proceed. Twenty nine with Mr. Hot Wheels. So hundreds and hundreds of pins. Probably like three to four hundred pieces. Made the 75 viewers. Yes, you did. Okay. I'll do it. Grab one of these boxes over here. Ugh, holy cow. Just remember, nobody else is going to do craziness like this for you guys. Ooh. This box is a good 45 to 50 pounds. So I hope we got our interested peoples. Let me put this on the scale. Forty pounds. Forty pounds coming at you. I have no clue what's in this box. Turtle is out. <laughs> what could have hurt you for a while? Heavy. <laughs> 40 pounds isn't bad, but like trying to pick it up over top of stuff is not easy. So 60 with Scotty. Yeah, there's probably three to four hundred buttons. Oh, yeah, there's tons of shrooms, tons of 101 Dalmatians, tons of the Halloween cat. It's about five different styles in that lot. After he does this ephemera, he'll do some toys. We have a toy box in front of him. 65 with Heather. 70 with Scotty. You got a Beetlejuice Greg Lusk. He likes these mystery boxes. <laughs> Greg Lusk. Greg Lusk. Greg Lusk. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. <laughs> 75 with Mr. Hotwells. Ahenia. <laughs> 80 with Scotty. 
Heather is out. Hi, Mr. Picky. I promised everybody if we hit at least 75 people that I would do a box from the back of the warehouse that I have not looked in of ephemera. So that is going to be our next lot. I have no clue what's in it other than it is a big box of ephemera from one of the deals I bought. I'll show it. I'll, I'll open the box in front of you guys and then I'll put some trays out and we'll kind of pull it over for you guys to see a little bit of it. Obviously we can't show you each and every piece of whatever's in it. It'll be anything from ads to cigar box labels to, I don't know what else was in that stuff. Old magazines. 85 with Mr. Hot Wheels. Mindy with Scotty. Curious. <laughs> oh, no worries, Mr. Picky. Yeah, we're always on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from one until about four, four thirty. So have ninety with Scotty looking for ninety five. Yeah, fuzzies on your shirt. Mr. Hot Wheels is out. <laughs> I wasn't going to get that one for you. It's all your dirt all over the warehouse. <laughs> Mr. Hot Wheels is out. So we have 90 with Scotty. Looking for 95 or better. Going twice. Sold, sold, sold to Scotty for $90. Congratulations, Scotty. Scotty. Okay, guys. I just went back, grabbed this box. I grabbed this one because it didn't have a way for me to open it. Okay, let's see what we got. Here, I'll just use the lid to put the stuff into. I have no clue what we're looking at here. Some piece of old ledger. Looks like there's a bunch of ads for tools. Um, how much is it gonna cost us to ship this? 40 bucks? Probably gonna cost us 40 bucks to ship this. So $40. American Builder, 1920 is when these ads are from. American Builder. So here's ads. All has to do with like building equipment and house building and tools. Garages. Yep. 1920. So far, Stanley Tools, Sergeant Tools. Like I said, I'm just flipping through like stacks, like little handfuls at a time. Three, four, five, six pieces. Stanley Ball Bearing Butts. Ooh, that one's cool. It's got an old like car. There. Johnson's Paint. So you guys are going to see me flip like, you know, 8, 10, 15 pages at a time. Motor trucks and trailers. Yeah. Just more ephemera. Ephemera. Tons, tons, and tons. 
Look at the old trucks. Look at the old concrete mixer. And this company actually made a toy version of that. Look at the old washing machine. So far, everything seems to be right around 1920. This one. Red Encyclopedia of Construction. Nineteen twenty four. Okay, so here's you know stacks of that type of stuff. Gold for those contractor whose national garage hardware mixers, dump trucks, excavators. I mean, I'm guessing there's probably few thousand pieces in here like thousands so, I mean there's probably 30 or 40 pieces in that just little stack there more and more and more okay and these are bigger formats so these are from something else view pack portrait of ideas Camel cigarettes, some kind of alcohol, blame it on the al 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 alcohol, good rich tires, ad for fur coats, ad for a trip to Hawaii, Hawaii. Lucky Strike cigar, Cigarettes. Look at that. Awesome train. Alcoa Aluminum, and it's shiny. Cigars. Cameras. There's a ton of people who sell just ads. We've done it many times. Shipyards, corning, great Western American champagne. So like I say, guys, my guess is these are 1938. I'm guessing a few thousand pieces. In here, Campbell soup, clothing, camera's backing away. I want it there. Yeah, the old airplane ads. Carnation Milk, Four Roses Alcohol, Pacific Rayons Cotton. Look at this. Seashells. Look at this ad for tape. Candy striped tape. Here's Military. Yellow Old Margarine. Like I said, I'm just. I'm only showing you a very little amount of Pabst Blue Ribbon beer. Uh, seven Up with Erector Sets and Trains. Old Gold Cigarettes. Wardens with Elsie the Cow Milk. Vogue's new portfolio of Smots. Vogue magazine. So these are fashions, 1932. So this whole box so far has been 1920 to 1934 was the newest thing I've seen so far. More Vogue, uh, movie related. What's on this side? Chinko cigars. 
So you're going to get everything that's in this box. You're seeing a tiny, tiny portion of it. Philip Morris. Here's hats. Here's more Vogue magazine, 1932. Look at all the fashion. And they have actresses showing off the different fashions. May 1st, 1932. Lots of fashion. More Vogue. More fashion. All the old uh, furniture. Look at the chairs. More fashion and ads. Lots of great fashion. Look at that. 1932, June. You know, June 15th, 1932. Look at all the old fashion images. Von De Carlo. I made a big mess, Pam. What? Thousands. Thousands. You guys haven't even seen, you know, a fifth of the box yet. Look at all this fashion. At least. Literally thousands of fashion and movie stars and movie starlets. Advertising everything from beer, cigarettes, clothing, bras. Ooh. Heinz flavors, razors. More Vogue from 1933. So, so far we're 1930s Vogue fashion. Look at that, that's beautiful. From Vogue magazine. These. Saks Fifth Avenue, a couture dress. Bonwit Teller. So, I mean, right there is 100 plus pieces. So by me telling you thousands, we mean thousands. Some are color, some are not. Some are really beautiful. I love like all the old movie star actresses wearing like old style dresses. Look at the old hairstyles, old shoes. There's all these like little paper shavings in here. Okay, now these are probably a little newer. Let's see if I can find a year. 1960. So here's a nice little group of 60s fashion. Here's bras, here's undergarments, corsage, or cors what are they called? Corsets. Behave by Nemo. And then now you're back into the 30s again. 1938 fashions. Tangled in gold fashion illustrations. More fashion illustrations from 1938. Old pictures of cars. This one seems to be a lot of fashion. And then here's a few more of the 60s ones. Revlon. And then you're back into the 30s again. So of course it smells like old paper. <laughs> I 
lip and tips of colors. I love the smell of old paper. Not musty old paper, just old paper. Look at those fashion shoes. No, it's not. not musty. Yeah, Pam's very nose sensitive. She's my bloodhound. These military men in suits for fashion, dreamy cottons. Let's see if we can find a year. I don't see a year on that right now. Do you want her to marry me? We're still in the 30s and 40s, it looks like. There's a few 60s pieces, but the majority of it seems to be 30s. Look at the old ponds. Face care stuff. Yeah, it's not wet. It's not musty smelling. Dude. No, no, no. Not musty at all. 1938. Whole big stack. I'm, I'm putting them in by stacks, guys, not single pieces. Uh, here's a two pager for Goodyear tires. 1946. Elgin watches. More fashion. So, so much Vogue fashion. 1938. This is another stack. So, I mean, by like, I'm, this is how I'm putting it in. Just like every one of those is a page or an ad. I used to count these out and do them by like 20s. But this would have been like three days worth of auctioning right here. Supplement of Country Life, 1928. All the old architectural houses and stuff. 1927, Architectural Country Life. Sutton Seeds and Cultivators. Cami Knickers. Here's some candy. Watches. I mean, these are probably 1890s. McNevin and Cameron pins. Old straight razor and old car. More great ads, football, some sports. Player cigarettes. 1927. We're about halfway through the box. That's only about half of the box if you guys have seen. And then these might be 60s. There's some 60s, yeah, because that's an old or 1970 Dodge Charger ad. These are a little newer here. These seem to be like some 70s stuff. I think late 60s to early 70s. Paul Mall cigarettes, Wrangler pants. Like I'm literally just grabbing stacks. More clothing, Esquire socks. So it seems like there's a lot of fashion, a lot of fashion. So over half the box was pre 1940. And then this half seems to be 60s, like Boulevard Watches, 1968, Plymouth. More old Eds. Like I said, I haven't showed you guys, you know, I'm literally putting in stacks of like 50, 75 perfume ads. Alcohol ads, really great American picture. Playboy Club News, 1967. Violet Watches, Brookfield Bazaar. I 
I made it messy. Pam, how long are you gonna stay and clean this up? I am not. You are. Oh, that's not nice. That's not how you talk to your boss. That's your job. Okay, so that's what you guys get. An unsearched box of advertisements and fashion seems to be what a lot of it is. And there may be little treasures down in there because I was grabbing big stacks. Ugh. But the box is about 40 pounds. Hey, Carl. Normally, I would say we could use this box and ship it in it, but no. No. trying to clear it off out of your way. <laughs> Plus, i got to have somewhere to put this box. <laughs> Pam, after I leave here, i got to get your pay for tomorrow. So you should be nice to me. Congratulations, Mary Me. I think there's a lot of money to be made in that. It's a lot of work, but I do think there is a lot of money to be made. Okay. And let me grab that box while I'm over here. Get out of the way because you're not going to move that one. And then I'll put some toys up there. Okay. Here's a Dakin figure. You're a top dog, so it's a Dakin plaque. I can't see in that camera over there. If you want to look in it, make sure I'm putting the stuff in properly. Okay, these are, I believe, for cake, like, like half moon cake molds. Here is some old dollhouse furniture. Let's see if I can find a name on it. I don't see a name on it. Oh, this one says Plasti Plasco Toys. Plasco Toys sofa. There's a little old chair and some other stuff. And more doll furniture there. Here are some Glamour Girls dolls, I believe. That's what those are, I think. This looks like a group of little kittles and maybe a Dawn doll. Rock Flower Heather, Groovy Girls doll. And then some Kittles and some other miscellaneous vintage dolls. I'll put the whole military thing together as one big set. Okay. Here's a Bob's Big Boy plushie. Here is a Snoopy 1966 Snoopy vinyl doll with pajamas on.
Here is, these are actually really rare, these Goofy Grams by Dakin. So these are Goofy Grams by Dakin, D-A-K-I-N. They're actually really rare. Benji and Waldo, I think it's a cartoon comic character guy. Almost like Dennis the Menace. Here's Sprout from Green Giant. And here's a 1970s Tweety. I think that might be Dakin, but it might be something else. I don't know. Let's do that lot. Here, and we'll even add another really old doll. This is a tiny, chatty brother. So from like Chatty Kathy, this is the little brother doll from Ideal. So that's a nice lot of toys. 27 with J.I. Are you okay for a second, Pam? There you go. Green's in at 29. Forty with Donna. Forty-three with Green. Fifty with Cat. Yeah, that's I, that's a little boy, I think. Yeah. Chatty Kathy's little brother. Okay. So a lot of vintage dolls, like I said, rock flowers, little kittles. 55 with Donna. This is a skadiddle. 60 with Kathy. No clue what that one is. Some old uh, doll furniture in there. Old Tweety Bird. Like I said, these are actually really hard to find. D-A-K-I-N, and these are called Goofy Grams. They can make all like the different uh, different like Looney Tunes and Disney stuff. Bob's Big Boy. So riches, whatever you want to call it. Thank You Feel Bad. Got the Hound Dog, they can there, 1971. Nice little lot for you guys. This might be a good one to put that stuff into. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Thanks. Hello. <laughs> Sixty with yeah. Yeah. Sixty five. 
Yeah, we had that the other day. We had lightning or something. That might be coming our way for back up where you're at. You're within two hours of us. Short 60. Kathy looking for 65 or better. This entire lot. I'm going to start putting it away as I show it to you guys again real quick. Tiny Chatty Brother. I don't know if it works. Did you try? Yeah. No, he does not work. It goes in too fast. Okay. We got Sprout from Green Giant. We got Tweety. We have some old dollhouse furniture. Let me get the bag and put it in there. Dollhouse furniture. The rock flower doll, the miniature Barbies. Yes, I know she's topless. Or glamour girls. I think they're glamour girls, but I don't know. Some more little kittles, type dolls, a base for a superstar Barbie. It is sold for sold Cassie for $60. Congratulations, Kelly. That was a really good buy. I think these alone will pay for that. Okay. I sell the other box of these. Okay, here's the rest of the of that giant box of pins. So have a spooky Halloween. More mushrooms. Hopefully Scotty's still here. 101 Dalmatians. Those are licensed. 101 Dalmatians. Where's the other doggy one? The different 101 Dalmatians one. And then there's another one where he's biting on a bone. 101 Dalmatians. They're licensed right around the edge of Disney. The rest of this whole box, all of those, like, oh no, there's more in the bottom. There's a bunch of Bugs Bunny Looney Tunes. Let's see if there's anything else in here without stabbing myself. So there are hundreds. This is probably 400 to 500 pins easily. Right, yeah, 40. This is like two tray lots worth. And Bugs Bunny is fully licensed. 1993 Warner Brothers. 65 with Mr. Hot Wheels. So, like I said, there's probably. About two tray lots worth in here, so there might be five to six hundred pins. But usually, one of these boxes makes three full beer flats. So there's about seven different styles in there. Hundred with Greg. Awesome buy. We have Christina in at 110. Mr. Hotless came in at 110 second late. One twenty five with Greg. We're at 135 with Mr. Hot Wheels. 145 with Christina. <laughs> with 165 with Greg.
then I know I've got a bunch of paper people here. And since Rebecca's back, I will do those other cards quick, Rebecca. I'll do it in a, one big live. Yes, I saw your very sweet drag. <laughs> I'll write that down for his, uh, <laughs> his profile. Yes. Greg, wait, right here on this profile, it says, what size shoe do you wear? <laughs> it's a 12. <laughs> oh, look, Pam remembers it's a 12. <laughs> 200 with Mr. Hot Wheels. What is this ever stuff, Dallas? That's naked. 250 with Scotty. Two fifty with Scotty. Christina's out. Never be sad, Christina. Trust me, I've got more pin back buttons. They just may not be these exact styles that I bought out of company years and years ago. Yeah, yeah, Greg. There's about five to six hundred. He said, nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to Jedi mind. I love, I love little things like this in, in antique booths. And whenever I do like Comic Cons, when I bought this collection, I did New York Comic Con and put pens out three for 10 bucks or $5 a piece and did really, really good. And then the next year I did them at like $3 a piece, two for five. And I think I did about six grand. And this is like five years ago when I bought the collection. It's got not yet. About, you have to give him about 25 minutes. Give me about 20 minutes. Takes me about 10 to get home. <laughs> Aww. That's so sweet. So we have 250 to Scotty. <laughs> when Kim moves, I'll, I'll, I'll be able to buy that. That's left. <laughs> Let's see. 250 with, with Scotty, I think. Yes. 250 with Scotty. Mr. Hot Wheels is out. $250 for Scotty, looking for 260 or more. Thursday. It's thirsty Thursday. <laughs> Every day ending with Y is a thirsty day for you. Yes, yes it is. Every day that you have to deal with me or your husband is a thirsty day for you. Stop. Stupid Ikea. <laughs> nice. Ron's got a lot more to sell, don't worry. Greg, when you come here, I have pins set aside for you. It's about, oh, a cargo van at least. There's about 150,000 of them there. The brand don't have to move them. That's right.
I'll make you deal for the whole pile. Okay, they're all here. <laughs> so, so, so disguised for 250. Guys, do you want a whole box of mushrooms? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Rebecca, where you at? Rebecca Ratter. Look at this. I think this this binder is awesome. This is a Mead Fast Lane binder. One of these ones in school. Porsche. And this album is is pretty nifty. Obviously, there's some Disney cards in the front. More Disney cards. Then you get a couple baseball cards from Bazooka Gum. But then there's like some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cards. Then there's more baseball cards. Gary Carter, I don't know who he is. Steve Trout, I don't know if he's related to Mike Trout. I know who Mike Trout is. I didn't know who Mike Trout was up to like a year ago. So there's Upper Deck, Don Russ, there's Greg Jeffries, Ricky, I think. More Donruss. Here's more Upper Deck. Juan Gonzalez. Here's some hockey. That one says rookie on it. Here's some um, Top Stadium Club. Gary Sheffield. Here's some Bowman. Here's hockey. Let's see if there's anybody I know. Wayne Gretzky. I know him. Guy LaFleur. I know him. Uh, let's see. Oh, nice. That'd be good. Here's some um, tops and Bowman. Here's Eric Lindros. That might be his rookie, 1991. Here's another Eric Lindros. Mark Messier, Wayne Gretzky, Dominique Wilkins, basketball, Jeremy Roenick, Mark Jackson, Paul Coffey. I'm just trying to name the guys I know. Yamir Yager, I know him. Sergi Fedorov, I know him. I was buying cards in this year, so I knew it was what to look for. Steve Yazerman, Sergi Fedorov. There's more hockey, more hockey, more hockey. Mark Messier, Mark Ricci. And then you go into basketball. There's Spud Webb. Greg Anthony. Here is Clyde Drexler. Patrick Ewing. Sean Kemp. I'm just going to kind of flip through, and then there's some football in here. Shaquille O'Neal. There's a top, so it's got written in gold down here at the bottom. Shaquille O'Neal, that's a 1998 one. Brett Hull. Here's some soccer. Here's some more baseball. Football. Oh, look, there's some Marvel superhero cards. Baseball, baseball, baseball. More baseball. Remember, guys, I'm going to make this lot bigger. This lot's going to grow. More upper deck here. Whole bunches. Yankees. Future stars. Jose Lind. So don't count it down yet, Janine. Here's more superhero cards on the back page. Okay, so that's one binder. You're going to get at least three binders full. At least. You might get all six. So there's one binder full. These, you say 2014 B-Ball Bowman. So this is newer. Oh, 
I had a question for you guys because I don't know anything about this stuff. So this Mark Appel here, right? It, this card and this card have the same number, but this one has like blue. This one has yellow. This one's got a gray border. This one's got a white border. And this one's shiny behind it where this one's not. So I don't know what that means. But it, it's that way with a lot of the cards in this in this slide. And each one of the cards inside of these sleeves is inside of a, its own like penny sleeve. And then that sleeve is slid inside of here. So these are all like Bowman and Bowman Chrome. I don't either. See, this one says Bowman Chrome, and then this one says Bowman. So maybe that's the difference. Maybe the Chrome one, it has the shiny, and the regular Bowman does not. But then some of them have like three different colors. So here's a whole binder full of this. I did look through it. I did not see any Mike Trout. He'd be the only person I would know to look for. Lots of cards. Okay, so that's second binder. And here's a third binder. And these are in here backwards. I have no clue why. These are 1993 Leaf set. 1993 Leaf set. 175 with Rebecca. I know some of the people in here, but like I was looking at baseball cards back in 1987 and I was buying the old stuff then. Here's Sammy Sosa. I know him. <laughs> John Olerud, Fred McGriff, <laughs> Oral Hersheiser. You'll hear me name off names and you guys will be like, who's that? These are people that I remember back in the day. This is Glenn Davis. That's my dad's name. Mike Piazza. I don't know who he was. Greg Olson. Todd Zill. So you guys get the idea. Who? Okay. More. There's more players in here I, I know, but I don't know how much it matters. Problem Fist, Cecil Fielder, Gary Sheffield, Kurt Gibson, Barry Bonds. Okay, where are we at? We are at 175 with Rebecca. Another, another thing of hockey. I know some of these people. I seem to know the hockey people better than I do the baseball people. Manon Rahome. I can never pronounce her name. The first female in professional hockey. There's a couple of her. Mark Ricci, Patrick Roy, uh, Andre Tetralov, limited edition bonus card, one of 40,000. This one seems to be hockey. These are Upper Deck SP. They're shiny. Mark Ricci. Here's Christine Yamaguchi. Here's some Cassius Clay. Here's some wrestling cards. Here's more wrestling. And then here, these are soccer. There's six of these soccer cards here. And then here's more Upper Deck soccer cards. Rudy, Rude Galit. I think he's a good soccer player. Here's some racing cards that are shiny. Some basketball, Patrick Ewing, more racing cards. More hockey. World Junior Champions. More hockey. This is another girl, Renato. Hmm. So you get that with it. Let's go big, guys. Let's go big. Get all six binders in this one lot. This is the whole album of Luis Gonzalez. Whole album of Luis Gonzalez. 
Like there's shiny ones, there's insert ones, there's I don't know. Look, he had a dollar twenty-five on that one. And I bought this collection, I don't know, four years ago. Lots of Luis Gonzalez rookies. That's a real shiny one. 2001. Here's more Luis Gonzalez. They had them under buck fifty a piece. Rookie card Luis Gonzalez, 1991. Stadium Club rookie cards Luis Gonzalez. And last but not least is this album here. More baseball cards. And football cards, old football cards, Ames baseball cards. Here's, I think these are 86 football. There was with Marcus Allen. I know him. More football cards, baseball cards. Clear from 1990. There's Ricky Henderson, a bunch of them. Tony Gwynn. Some old, like, Super Bowl cards. Art Monk. There's some basketball, more hockey. These are upside down. I don't know why. There's some uh, um, golf cards or hockey and baseball. Football cards. You get all six albums for your bid. I'm clearing the table, Pam. Yeah. Selling them all. Everything I brought down from up there in that box. Those albums. Oh, yeah. Three ten with Maryland. Okay. Three ten with Maryland. Three thirty three with MSC. Turtle Trader, yes. I still have that whole truckload of cards. I haven't even opened that storage unit since I emptied the truckload of there. Four hundred with Rebecca. Should I go in there and grab the grab the Michael Jordan rookie cards, throw those on the table? Or are we located? Allentown, Pennsylvania. Allentown, Pennsylvania, Rebecca. You're right on the New Jersey, Pennsylvania border. Two hours from New York City. Two and a half, three hours from Atlantic City. Four hundred with Rebecca. <laughs> Living here in Allentown. I did that. Fuck him. Calls me the boss. Awesome. Rebecca, yes. My warehouse has a garage door you can come in and drive a car in. So no problem coming in. Some of the aisles might be a little thin. And I think the storage facilities will be accessible. Now, baseball card game is not. Maybe it's, it's up top. Yeah, it has that, has that ring. Sold, sold, sold to Rebecca for 400. Congratulations, Rebecca. The hard part is, is like I have some really good sports cards that I've been buying for investment reasons. Like, you know, I have three Jordan rookies in there that are graded with three stickers that are graded. So I have six Jordans in there. But I paid 
a lot for them at the time, and those cards have went down. So I have to wait until October when they go back up. Get my money back out of those. And the only reason I can sell those is just because we're buying a house. You guys tell me you want one more lot or you want to be done for the day? What time is it? Oh, um, MC was off. I have, I have one ephemeral lot if you guys want an ephemeral lot. If not, we'll, it will end now. We'll take the first two yeses or nos. One more lot. One more lot. So I have ephemera, guys. I have no clue what this is. YMCA. One seller pin. This is, I think this is empty. If this is empty, then I will just pause this and try to see if it's empty. Here it is. Oh, this is really good, guys. These are great post-mortem photos. So this guy's obviously in his casket. Amp's going to be like, what are you selling? Post-mortem photos sell amazingly. And this is an old one in the original thing. Put that up there for me. Do what? North Hudson County Railroad Railway Company. I'm trying to find a year. I don't know what year this is. This is early, though. 1894. July of 1894. So, nice letterhead. Uh, has railway. Has an old writing. North Hudson Railway Company. Town of Union. Right here. So these are all like 1800s. North Hudson County Railroad, a railway. Different one. More railway, more railway, more railway. Let's see what else we got here. How about a few of these? Let's see. These should be really good. So. Isaac Hahn, Grocers and Producers Bank, original check from 1877, July 1st of 1877, with the stamp from Internal Revenue. Another one. Another one. <laughs> Buffington and Green. That's what I said. 1877. These are really good. Isaac Hahn, again, $57.31 back then in the 1870s. A lot of money. Here it is. What? What's very common in the South? Grocers and Producers, Bank of Providence, 1877. That's a red one. Cat. So those are probably really good. Let's see what else we got in here. Not too sure what this is, but it's encased really nicely. Walter Starry. Nineteen oh five. It's a letter. Nineteen oh five. Get that. Here's some more of the North Hudson Railway Company paperwork letterhead. There's probably like another 20 or 30 pieces there. Nope, not moldy. Locust Gap Improvement Company. Eighteen seventy. Republican Committee of Dauphin County, 1905, so political related. The Wart Creamery, State of Pennsylvania, County of Wyoming, 1938. Yeah, 
Hoyt um, Brewers, Grainers, Fertilizers, Edison Agricultural, 1921. I have no clue what all these are. Nineteen forty something. I called your attention some things which my opinion were not right in nineteen thirty nine. The issuance of milk payroll checks for other than milk received from patrons. Okay. There's a eight nineteen fifteen envelope with some stamps. Has a card inside, I think. We received your card last month. We are thanking you very much. It's a nice piece of letterhead. J. Dewell and Company, 1889. Another nice piece of letterhead. Geo Paul from Steam, Water, and Gas, 1890. This is really early. It's got a state seal right here. Notary Public. John Holmes, Notary Public. Let's see. Deed for $1.50. I just don't know what year. So very, very early. Probably like 1840s. Again, same thing, very old. Paper there. 1916. 1885. Another nice piece of letterhead, Fowl Hibbert and Company, 1890. Look at the awesome building. The horse-drawn carriages. Hey, Spencer. Aeroform postage saver airmail paper. So this is probably a military, like, you know, they probably gave these to men in the military. Potter Hotel, Santa Barbara, California. The, the Shoreham. Okay. Bye, guys. Have a great weekend. Don't, Don't forget to let me, know. Your items. let me know your hours. Yeah. American Caramel Company Manufacturing. Caramels and Candy. They also made a bunch of baseball cards back in the 1890s. H.B. Cochran, Druggist, 1889, paper. We are not responsible for damage done to our lamps in transit. If you find it difficult to handle, blah, 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 Foster, 1830, or 1939, bless you. Joe, Joe Lowe Company for milk products, 1939. Let's see where we're at. I'm trying to see what else is in this box. That's in no. Do you know how many hours? Thirty-two. Okay. Yep. If I go. W. J. Fleming. 1882, lathe, shingles, wagons, lime, cement. Price list of Kurtzville Manufacturing, silver plated and German silver goods. So this is dessert forks, five fifty a dozen. That's really awesome. Okay, let's see where we're at before I keep adding any more to the pile. You know, people that are interested. Ninja. 40 with Ninja Riders. Need two or better. 45 with Christina O'Brien. Yeah, so there's a lot. I mean, there's probably 50 to 60 pieces in here and then the photo. Okay, 
something else, September AM. People Digest from 1953. These are the little handheld digest. People Digest, Virginia Mayo, 1953. People Digest, 1953, three. 1952, four. 1952, five. Get five of those. Here, I'll even make it a half dozen. Frank Sinatra, 1957. Okay. The more you guys bid, the more I can put in here. Jacksonville Beach, one of the old decals, like the old water decals for when you travel. Shoots Montgomery Falls, Canada. It's really early. 1920s or early 30s golfing photo. Here is a really early bicycle photo. Somebody biking on the street and the police cross guard, all the cars. Really great. July 1930, July 4th, 1930. It's 65 with Christine. an old along the WPMY Railroad in Alaska. Postcard, 1910-ish. Skagway, Alaska, again 1910-ish. Main Street in Johnstown, PA. Many blessings that they may bring when good old Turkey reigneth king. So Thanksgiving postcard, 1920s. This is an embossed early postcard. More embossed postcards. These are all like 1910-ish. To 1915. Merry Christmas. All the kinds of thoughts. More Christmas. Christmas. Christmas, Christmas time is here. Time for joy. 1910. There. Easter Bunny. Uh, Million Dollar Pier in the background. Atlantic City. Look at this one. Really cute. Embossed Girls. 1906. And American Airlines. Now another early card. 1918. Chicago World's Fair. A 1909 Greenfield's Candy Kids. We'll see you next month. 1909. Chet River Canyon and Baltimore, Ohio Railroad. Born Tired. Well, it says made by Hood, it's good. So that's a advertising Hood Sarsaparilla card. Another advertising trade card. Crystal Cave Hill. Crystal Cave in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It's really like 1920s. Hotel Jefferson, Richmond, Virginia. New Orleans, Louisiana. Hotel Jefferson, Virginia. More, 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 and more, and more. There you go. So we are at 82 with Greg Lust. And then that, that post mortem photo is awesome. As far as resellable, it's awesome. Lots of really great early letterhead. Nice group of cards in here. I have one awesome piece once we get there to the pricing. Let's see how we do. What are we at? At 82. Matt Tomlin's in at 90. I have one piece that I think is stupendous, like as far as rarity goes. So we're at 90 with Matt Tomlin. Looking for 95 or better. 
Once we hit a hundred bucks, I'll add in the other piece that I think is worth a lot. Hard to focus. Lost treasure return it in at a hundred. Okay. So I have a postcard right here. Postcard. This is for Budweiser Michelob. But look, it's like a panoramic early postcard of the Budweiser horses. The Michelob drought beer. There's the postcard. Originally came like this, and then the seal held it closed. But awesome. I mean, like Anheuser Busch beer related, large panoramic style postcard. That's got to be really good. Got to be. It's got to be. And then you have, I see dead people picture. And then all the early 1890s, 1870s big work. So we're at 114 with Greg. Oh, awesome, Greg. I used to, be, used to want to be an archaeologist, but I was more into Americans. Lost the returns at the out. Hello, LTR. Always good to see you. As always, we always appreciate all of you. Oh, awesome. Right? Should I write that on your profile? Put it down. Going twice. Hi, Wes. Let's go back to Robinson Flow. Seeing lots of old faces today. So 114, Greg Lust. Congratulations, Greg. I think that that one postcard is going to be a large majority of that. And then that great post mortem photo. So congratulations, Greg. It's right here. Check everything. And as always, everybody, I appreciate everyone's bids. I'm going to go into the office and send out invoices to everyone. So your invoices will be coming out very soon. And hope everybody. out invoices very shortly and then whoever's paid by tomorrow Pam will start packing and shipping all Shackman lots have been sent so they are gone as of today everything else that's been paid for is gone and shipped out Pam will work on shipping tomorrow I will not be around you know for our and our day with friends of mine who have a hard time so family passing away and stuff. So everybody have a great day. Now, Rebecca, if you ever want to come out, you're welcome. I have more baseball cards to look through and stuff that I'm buying and stuff. So everybody thank you so much. You guys are amazing. Hit that thumbs up on your way out. Have a great day. This is Brian. Well, Pam left already. Pam. So, on behalf of the Mr. Bizelar crew, thank you all. Great.